Gotta find a way. Has to be something I can do. By the way. Dorgan, one of Brogar's people, had this list on him. Can I see it, please? Seems Dorgan was helping Brogar to pocket Esteban's gold. Where is he now? Dead. I found him in a cave near the swamp. This list will help. We'll need more evidence, though, if we're to persuade Esteban Brogar is working for his own interests. Brogar is collecting protection money from the people here in the camp. What? Are you sure? Hmm. I'd be surprised if he were being that brazen about it on his own doorstep. Do you have proof? Solid proof. If you could get me something concrete, that would help things here a lot. found Dorgan. Yeah? Where is the lazy bastard? He's dead. His body's in a cave near the swamp. Oh, well. If it keeps some swamp creature fading off my back, it'll be the first useful thing he's done. Now, did he have anything on him? Anything at all? I didn't search the body. You expect me to believe you didn't check him? You didn't go through his pockets for gold. I'm not into strip searching corpses. I'll leave that to you. Anything else for me to do? Well, maybe one thing, if you're up to it. Out with it. Right. But keep this to yourself. You're hearing me. Have you ever collected funds generously donated by those grateful for their security? Hmm. Generously donated security funds. You mean protection money. Shush! Not so bloody loud! Who are you protecting? What do you care? You want me to do this job or not? Hmm. Maybe you can succeed where that damn Dorgan failed. Well, all the folks in this camp who ain't fighters, go and tell them their monthly payment is due. Collect it, then bring the gold back to me. Simple. I'll take the job. But can I trust you? Could be you're a shifty little fish. I'll do it. Don't worry. Yeah, I want it done, and I want it done right. So about that little job I'm doing for you. Should I collect money from Sam? No, Sam works for me. Good man. Knows the value of being discreet about his work. Got it. What if I run into problems? It's your job, so it's your problem. I'm owed 200 gold. I don't care how you get it. Squeeze it out of them or find it another way. But don't come back with any less. Right. Who exactly am I meant to be collecting from? You got a hole in your head? Anyone who isn't one of my boys. Oscar the Smith, the workers, Hawkins, Enrico, Brannan and Dwight, the hunters, Doug and Lewis, and that swamp farmer, Robar, and his farmhand, Obel. And hurry it up. The Don's wife, um, Rachel, 
seems tense about something. The Dom put her in charge of this mess, and if she can't feed people, how can she control anything else? Brogar wants the Don out of the way. Proving Rachel useless only helps him. About Brogar. Brogar's demanding protection money from people, and wants me to collect it. Hmm. You need Brogar on your side, but you don't want to end up like Dorgan. Dorgan? Dorgan was the last one to collect protection money for Brogar. Now he's disappeared. Dorgan is dead. I found him in a cave. Well, protection rackets aren't known for being safe things to get involved in. It looked like wild animals had killed him. Be careful. You don't want to end up like that. Thanks. That advice isn't exactly easy to follow. I found this note in Dorgan's pocket. That's a handy thing to have. Dangerous too if certain people discover you have it. Let's trade. Brogar sent me to collect the money you owe him. So, he's got you working for him. Thought you might have a bit more sense. Here, take it. Hope you choke on it. to collect you know what, Brannon. Pay up. Brogar got you collecting now, has he? Okay, I'll pay. But I actually want protecting this time. Brogar wants his money. Take my gold. Take everything. But leave me alone. Your protection money is due. Hand it over. Yeah, here you are. <laughs> Don't need to get rough. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, hey, hey you got one. Uh, you're beautiful. Hmm. I don't have anything to ask at the moment. Uh, that's too bad. I'll need your protection money for this month. We work, we feed you, we bring you wood, and you still screw us workers for gold. Brogar wants his protection money. Here, take it, and leave me in peace.
Give me your protection money. All right. I really don't want any nastiness. I have some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I'm here to collect your protection money. What? Don't tell me you're one of Brogar's henchmen. Let's say, business partner in training. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you have your reasons. But if you want protection money, first I need some protection. I've got bog bodies wandering all over my farm. They were over by the waterfall this morning, and I don't call letting bog bodies wander around protection. I'll take care of the bog bodies. Then we'll talk about the gold. Over by the waterfall. Good luck. Hey, I need some help clearing bog bodies from the swamp. Good luck finding it. Yeah. You see, I was thinking you could help me. See? Now you're almost sounding perceptive. So how about you get moving? I knew you were going to be trouble. Follow me. Come on! It's gonna take me a week to get the stink off my sword. You said you were bored standing guard duty. Yeah, right. Thanks. You can relax. I dealt with those bog bodies. Now that is a relief. I knew you weren't all bad. Here, take this as a thank you. Thanks, but I am still going to need that protection money. Here, take it. I hope I can get some peace now. Thank you. 
Do you owe Brogar some protection money? For what? I don't need that great lummox to protect me. Brogar's collecting protection money. Hmm. I have my suspicions. Some of the men go through their gold almost as quickly as I pay them. Tell Rachel. Brogar needs sorting out. Nothing but trouble. I'm sure he'll get what's coming to him. Well, if there's any justice, he will. But justice ain't too common around here anymore. By the way, Brogar has ordered me to collect protection money for him. What? Really? And who are you supposed to collect it from? From all the men here who aren't one of his fighters. He's really gone too far this time. How long has he been getting money from them? No idea. All right, just play along. Collect the gold and find out who's not paying so willingly. Then we might be able to put a nail in Brogar's coffin. He's not taking over this camp. Not while I live. I certainly wouldn't want to see him with any real power. Yeah, I should have thought of that. I'm here for Brogar's money. What? Running Brogar's errands is no way to make friends here. Now they've got you collecting gold. All right. Keep your money for now. We'll stay friends. You made the right choice there. Just don't expect us friends to be friendly. By the way... I'm here for Brogar's money. Now they've got you collecting gold. Whatever you say. Now give me the money. Here, and I hope the Geiger bites you in the arse. By the way... So about that little job I'm doing for you. There's no one left to collect from. Right. So where's my 200 gold coins? I did the work. I'm keeping the gold. I knew you were shifty. Think you can get one over on Brogar, eh? Well, you got a big shock coming, little fish, when you least expect it. By the way, I collected all the money for Brogar. Now what? If my husband learns about this, he'll have Brogar killed on the spot. Then he'll give me hell for not keeping an eye on things. Perhaps if you go to Brogar and tell him what you know, threaten to pass it on to Esteban, maybe he might buckle. That would help keep things calm here for a while at least. Well, I'll try talking to him. I'm thinking maybe I should tell the Don what I know, Brogar. About what? My protective, supportive funds? You think he'd believe a little fish like you over me? Are you really threatening me? Are you really that stupid? You haven't proven yourself to me, little fish. By the way, Brogar, I challenge you to fight me in the arena. You ain't worth a walk. I 
fought and defeated all your fighters. Will you face me now, or are you a coward? Show a little respect, little fish. I'll fight you. Maybe that way I can teach you some respect. for this. Bad. I'm impressed. Stay in my good books and I can make something of a scrapper like you. I think I can make something of myself. You get too cocky with people, it'll be a grave you're making for yourself. Feeling a bit more humble now, Brogar. Okay, okay, I'll quieten things down. But I'd think before you rat on me. The rats in this swamp get their necks wrung. The threats don't work so well when you're looking so bruised. Listen, you want to fight. Doesn't make you invincible. Let Sam go hunting. Okay, okay. Aren't you the soft-hearted one? Hey, I took the liberty of lifting that piece of the sword blade from you. You thieving bastard. Rob a man when he's down, would you? You'd have done the same to me, Brogar. I've gathered the pieces of the golden sword. You must have a gift persuading people to give them to you. You should take them to Oscar. Of course, if he agrees to reforge the sword, you then have to persuade him to give you the sword back. You can stop worrying about Brogar. I've dealt with him. You're quite something. With him gone, I just hope that Don will find his old self again. But that's me talking about us, and I get the sense you've already outgrown us. You've got a spirit of adventure. This swamp isn't going to be good enough for you. Well, guess I'd better get back to my own work, eh? 
Good luck with wherever you go. Rogar went down. You beat him. You really beat him. We're all human. Rogar? Human? Ha! <laughs> well, here are your winnings. One thing, Brogar won't let this lie. I know. By the way, you were right. Brogar folded. Thank you. That will help calm things for now. Don't worry, that's not an end to it. When he's least expecting it, I'll slip something in his food. I know poisons that will work slowly to turn a person inside out over several weeks. Hmm. I might just stay away from your cooking in the future. Here, you've earned a reward. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let Esteban know about this. He'd just blame me. I'm not interested in getting you in trouble. Now that's out of the way, I'd better get back to work. Thanks for all your help. You find anything else? Let me know. Craig is running a betting ring. He knows Esteban doesn't like that kind of thing. It just ends up with the men arguing. This could be the spark that sets everything off. Go and tell Craig I said to stop it if he knows what's good for him. I need a place to sleep. Hmm. Take Brogar's hut. I don't think anyone's going to dispute your right to it. Well, I arrived here with just a mouthful of sand. So a shack in the swamp is a step up, I suppose. I told Rachel about your bets. Are you out of your mind? What? I didn't know it was such a big deal. Big deal? The Don has forbidden gambling, especially for gold. But I thought everyone... You didn't think at all. You better go back to Rachel and straighten this out. Anything new to tell me? Don't worry about Craig. He won't be taking any more bets. Well, I hope not. He's a stubborn one. This is for you. A small payoff for your help. What did she say? I calmed her down. You can keep running your books. <sighs> we were lucky. You were lucky. Next time, talk to me before blabbing. In fact, Make sure there isn't a next time, right? I want to make a bet. So, anyone else for me to fight? Nah, no one springs to mind. Surely you've got other things to get on with. People like you usually have. About your camp. You don't have to worry about your food supplies anymore. Sam is back out hunting. So I heard. You've got enough for this. Here, take this gold. Don't spend it too quickly. I've got everyone back to work on the tasks you'd given them. Well, you're not like everyone else around here, are you? I'm impressed. There has to be more than needs to be. Single-minded, aren't you? No, but here's something as a thanks. Hopefully this camp will run a little smoother from now on. So have I done enough to get to see the Don? And how do I explain letting you in without him finding out how bad things have got here? Look, if you really want to see him, between you and me, he's obsessed with gathering treasure. If you can get something he wants, he'll see you. Go and see our smith, Oscar. I'm sure he can point you in the right direction. I now have all the pieces of the sword blade. I was right. It is a beautiful piece of work. Good job it has me to return some life to it, eh? And you still stand in there staring at me? Supposes I owe you some sort of reward? Come back when I've finished the sword. I'll show you what a true craftsman can make. He 
here. From the ashes comes the phoenix, eh? Fucking beautiful, isn't it? It's a sword. A sword. A sword? You see the way the light catches it? The way I blended a fucking sword? You're an ass. Thanks. It has a good balance. Here you go. Yeah. Donnie's gonna be one happy man when he claps his peepers on this. If I wanted the sword, what would it cost me? What would you want with this? It's for the Don. Now I'll get you. You want to use this as your way to see him. How much? You couldn't afford this. How much? All right, 200. There's a lot of effort went into that. Two hundred gold coins. All right, give me the sword. Who did you steal that pile from? All right, here's the sword. But you make sure you tell the Don who made it, all right? I heard the Don was interested in a sword, a golden sword. Well, I've got it. Are you serious? So you actually found all the pieces? That's amazing, you can't even tell it was broken. Oscar certainly knows his metals. Surely this is enough to get me an audience with the Don. Are you kidding? He'll probably divorce me and marry you. I'm guessing that means I can go in. Stop where you are. You ain't going another step closer to the Don. Rachel says I can talk to the Don. Really? And I'm just supposed to believe you, eh? Shall I bring her here? I'm sure she'd be delighted to know her orders aren't being followed. Yeah, yeah, all right. I get the picture. Go in, but don't annoy him, or Rachel will be serving up both our guts for lunch. Is it your habit to walk into places unannounced? Who are you? I know who you are. The Don. Somehow I'd expected more. Time may be conspiring against me, but don't doubt that I deserve my reputation. I am still the man you have heard of. Then why do you cower in here? Letting others take your island from you. Cower? The bear that sits in his cave isn't cowering. He's biding his time. But you, you have walked into this cave with no knowledge of what may happen. Boldness is a quality, but rashness will get you killed. I'd heard you were a man in control. Angry isn't in control. Allow others to take care of my problems. Mm, that seems like a good suggestion. How about I give you to the White Robes as a peace offering? I'm sure when you're slaving away in the ruins, you'll wish I had taken care of you. You expect me to beg for your interest? You should be begging me. Now that's more like it. Pride. Pride gets eaten alive in this damn swamp. They get swallowed by anger, poisoned by idleness. Sometimes I think Fincher is the only man jack of them left with any self-worth. And Fincher told me that you have pride. But do you have substance? I am in need of pride. So I shall give you a chance to prove yourself, Castaway. About your pile of gold. You will be paid your due. Or was there more to that question than greed? Nothing. It was just a question. Hmm. So even you have secrets to keep. If I'm to serve, 
I'll need better armor. Favors are earned. Prove your value and favor will follow. I have brought you the sword you are searching for. Ah, that is Oscar's work. I can see that right away. We both sought this sword since we heard of it. Now here it is in my hands. Here, you deserve a little gold for bringing this to me. I'd like to know more about what's happening here. Why are you and your men in this swamp? The Inquisitor has his claws stuck deep into the flesh of this island. A firm grip on the harbor town and the monastery. Well, that's what he thinks. And that's what others see. The Inquisition's numbers growing. Men dragged into his service. What I see is a man making enemies. A man wasting his strength against the creatures in the ruins. So we wait here. The spider in the corner of the web, and we bide our time. What was it like before the Inquisitor was here? Corrupt, as any land ruled from the mainland. Governor after governor bleeding the people, courting favor. When their men, the garrison, were withdrawn to the mainland, we were ready. I took control. In the name of the people, the brothels were clean, the prices fair. Men had dignity, pride, and the earth shook. The temple ruins rose and the Inquisition and all their ways came after them. Why here? Of all the places they could have gone, why did they come here? The Inquisitor is hiding something from us, but I shall find a secret, and in the meantime, I shall strip as much as I can from those ruins. With gold, with gold, you can fight power. What is the Inquisitor looking for in the temple ruins? White robes take everything they discover to the monastery. And there the mages are working to unlock some secret. This much I do know. So far, they've avoided this temple. But for how much longer? Do the white robes attack you and your men? Right now, they're avoiding open war. But if they don't find what they're searching for elsewhere, I'm sure we can expect their eyes to turn to us. What do you plan to do? I want my town back. It is our town. It belongs to the people of this island, not the mainland. For that reason, I left some of my men there when we withdrew, gathering intelligence, frustrating the plans of the Inquisition. They were supposed to be sending me information, but I've heard little recently. These aren't times when plans run smoothly. How can I help you? Find out what is happening in Harbor Town. Find my men. I have no idea if my men are alive, imprisoned, dead. Worse, if they have defected. Go there. Discover the truth for me. What are the names of your men in Harbor Town? No, no, I don't trust you well enough for that. Go to the town and find them. And if you don't, and you are captured, without names there is still a chance they can stay free. I won't put my men in danger. I am willing to go to the town for you. Good. Go and find if my people are still loyal. Uh, one more thing. Yes. The Inquisitor. Gather all the information you can about him. Here in this hole, I am deaf and blind. I have to know what that fanatic is planning. For my people. For my island. So, the Don's giving you a chance. Yes. Lucky you. Lucky me. I know what it looks like, him skulking in that temple. Let me give you some advice. Don't underestimate him. He's just waiting for the right time. This island is the Don's, and he's going to take it back. What do you do for the Don? I take care of things for him. Keep an eye on people. Right now, that mostly means the Inquisition, these white robes. These excavation sites are on our island. What right of the Inquisition to take everything? If you're not going to let them take you, you best get yourself some training. Are you expecting the Inquisition to attack you? They're building up their forces, pushing closer every day. It's only a matter of time before they try and overrun us. 
What do you mean they're taking everything? They're everywhere. A group of them even settled not far from the swamp in the southeast. They've been looting the temple ruin that shot out of the ground there. If we could capture that outpost, it would keep them off us for a little longer. Give those beasts chance to whittle down their numbers. Why haven't you captured it? Who is supposed to keep the white robes away? Brogar and his fighters. Brogar won't risk himself. Brogar is out to look after himself. He won't risk himself or his men. Hmm. And who, in your opinion, should lead his fighters? You're a big boy. You lead the attack. Looks like I'll have to. You want to prove yourself. Come to the edge of the swamp over in the south, and we'll teach the Inquisition a little lesson. If you're not all talk, I'll see you there. You wouldn't want people thinking you were a coward, would you? Boom bang a bang. The worst failures in alchemy. What can I do for you? Perhaps some healing? You're a mage, and you serve the Don. Someone has to take care of the boys here. It falls to me to do so. It's an honor, and it allows me to do what I need to. The boys here are a little exuberant, but we have an arrangement. I heal them, and they leave me to carry out my studies in peace. You study? Certainly. There is much to discover here. Like, for example, the magic barrier in the lower vaults. What can you offer for healing? Ah, I have potions to ease your wounds. I'm well versed in the art of alchemy and prepare all potions myself. Could you teach me something about alchemy? That depends. Are you ready to learn? Is your mind open to the knowledge? Am I ready to teach you? Yes, I think I am, but there are dangers. This is not a discipline to be taken lightly. I shall guide you, but you must beware. Surely not much can go wrong with mixing potions. Normally, no. But the ingredients we use here are strange. We are far from the mainland, and the materials we are finding in these temples have unknown properties. My last experiment was almost literally my last, if you understand. So be warned. Tell me more about your studies. I am fascinated by those that built this temple, unraveling their ancient dangerous secrets. This stone, for example. Obsidian, these ancients called it. Hugely resilient. It served them as a raw material for their weapons and armor. Weapons made of this would be very damaging. So, if someone could find any weapons they had left behind... What can you tell me about the monastery? It was a place of reflection and study. A place of meditation. Now, though, it is little more than a brutal training ground for the Inquisitor. Where one silence and thought reigned, now there is the sound of quarterstaffs clashing as the Order's warriors practice. But there are those there who remain studious, who keep the Order's knowledge. Is there anyone there who will share this knowledge? Hmm. You could try Master Iluma. He teaches scroll making. Simple magic it may be, but it would be a good idea not to underestimate the power of scrolls. Thank you. I will talk to him if I see him. I would. You won't regret it. What magic barrier? They were clever, the builders of this place. They did not rely on just iron and stone to keep people out. They knew the power of magic, too. If you ever venture deeper into the temple, you'll find that out. And this isn't the only place on the island they protected with magic. What must I do to acquire the skills needed in magic? That path leads you to the harbor town. I think you should start your search for magic there. Do you have things to sell?
Looks like you're moving on, Brogar. The Don's given me your hut. You better watch your step, little fish. Cause as soon as you stumble, my blade will be waiting. Yeah, yeah. Don't think I won't be ready for you. You won't see me coming, little fish. Let me have some workers' clothes. Here. This is all I can spare. Thanks. I'll remember this. Can you teach me about hunting? To be honest, I'm not a very good teacher. I just sort of have an instinct for it. Lewis is your man. He taught me. Lewis? He's an old drunk. Seems to work for him. He shoots best when he's had a skinful. Can you teach me about hunting? Train me in archery. Right. Aim precisely. Right at the head. Uh. The arrow will do more damage. And if you miss, it'll tell you where to aim. If it misses too short, aim up a bit. If it's too far, then look the other way. <laughs> Train me in archery. Oh, it's no point taking all day, is there? Practice shooting fast, and then you can shoot more. Just get smoother at it. That'll do for you, if you think. Help me improve my dexterity. That's right. Help me improve my dexterity. Yep. That's it. Look who we have here. Have a sudden attack of bravery, did you? Ready to fight these white robes? For the dawn. For the dawn. Come on, men. 
to the temple ruins. Go ahead. We'll follow you. Good luck. Go back. Good luck. Let's go. I can't work out whether it's good or bad to be on an island. Go back. I can't work out whether it's good. Let's go. Right, yeah. Wait here. Right, yeah. Let's go. You looking at me for a reason? Wait here. You looking at me? Let's go. Watch yourself around here. Wait here. Watch yourself around here. Let's go. You looking at me for a reason? Wait here. Let's go. All your kind die. That creature won't cause us any more trouble. I'm going to teach you a lesson. You can run. Stand a chance against us. Well, 
Which one of us is still ah, standing? A pleasure to watch. That creature won't cause us any more trouble. These creatures will never learn. I hope all your kind die. That creature won't cause us any I more hope trouble. All your kind die. Come on, after him. Keep oh. running. You can't hide forever. Right, come on! You can run. You and me, let's get them. Uh. Stop right there, you can. Hey, Lutus! That's all he can do. 
Uh, live like scum, die like scum. The white robes that were in the temple have gone. Don Esteban will be pleased with you. Time to collect the spoils of war. The white robes were collecting artifacts up there. Our workers should bring those crates back here. Let Hawkins take care of it. Good idea. This business needs to be taken care of quickly, before the other white robes get wind of it. I will fight you! Good to see. Where do all these keep coming from? Die. Don't get up again. That creature won't cause us any more trouble. know what happens next and a few coins for me Listen well. After him. You can run. You and me, let's get him.
Hey, look! The white robes that were in the temple have gone. Don Esteban will be pleased with you. Time to collect the spoils of war. The white robes were collecting artifacts up there. Our workers should bring those crates back here. You made that look easy. Let Hawkins take care of it. Good idea. This business needs to be taken care of quickly, before the other white robes get wind of it. Too good for them. I will fight you. Good for them. I will fight you. <laughs> I need some rest. Oh. 
The artifact crates over at the small temple ruin need to be recovered. Anything else? Beppo, you, everyone thinks they can have a go. So I suggest you do what we all ask. All right, all right, I'm going. By the way, don't worry, I didn't tell your husband about the business with Brogar. Thank you. Like I said, he'd only blame me. Take this. It's all I can spare, but loyalty should be rewarded. I wish it could be bought. I'm sure you have things to deal with. Rudolph's men are dead. Yes, I heard. And so the Inquisition's grip weakens. Take some gold for your news. How is the search for new excavation sites going? Hmm. If we want to increase our gold reserves, we'll have to expand our search. There are a few promising areas on the island that the White Robes haven't reached yet. But as long as the Inquisition is breathing down our necks, I daren't look the other way. Can you tell me where these promising areas are? There's a cave to the east of the island. Rumor has it there's a temple entrance there that's still sealed. Someone should take a closer look at it. I'll look for this temple, see if it is still sealed. All right. Here, I'll mark where the entrance is on this map. Once you've found it, report to me immediately. While you're at it, you should also keep a lookout for some good treasure seekers. You might be able to find some seekers in Harbour Town, if they haven't been recruited by the White Robes. If we want to search the Eastern Temple properly, we'll need a couple of experts. Have you got a decent map of the island? Make sure you get those seekers to the temple. The map should have everything you need on it. Thanks. You need treasure seekers. I'll find you some. Good luck. The White Robes will have recruited most of them by now. But if you can find some good ones, it'll be worth your while. You'll need some. It'll be difficult to empty a temple as big as that without help. <laughs> 